This is a big night for your, a big night for you, a big night for your team. What does being in this game seven, having been in this World Series, in this in this game seven with a lot of America rooting for you, what does that mean for the city of Kansas City? Well, it means a lot of things on a number of levels. It means people who have not been to Kansas City in the past or in town from around the world are all saying the same thing. I had no idea, meaning that they came in with one impression, and they have totally changed that impression because they found out how great of a city this really is. From the internal perspective, it's absolutely astounding to have everybody in this city feeling the pride and the love for the Royals and recognizing that we're on a world stage with an opportunity to show people who we are. And from a monetary standpoint, it's always great to have people coming into the city and spending money and enjoying our assets, our cultural assets and our sports and eateries and all of those things. So it's just been an absolutely fabulous time to be the mayor of a city that I absolutely love. Mayor James, you wrote a great open letter to America a week or so ago talking about the team and the city and what this all has meant. You talked about the team being a team of charm. What do you mean by that? Well, first of all, I want to make sure that you understand that that letter was a team effort. It was never uh, something that I did alone. It was always something that was done with Joni Wickham, uh, my chief of staff and communications director, so she deserves a lot of praise. But what we mean by team is, is that we work together. We collaborate. We understand that if you're going to accomplish great things, you have to work together and you have to be able to recognize your role in the process and be comfortable with it. That's who Kansas City is. That's who the Royal are. And if you notice the way that those guys play the, the game, they're sacrificing. They'll lay down a sacrifice bun, even if you're the number three hitter. Uh, they'll give up their bodies in order to protect their pitcher. They'll do whatever is necessary to win. That's who we are as a city. That's who the Royals are as a team. The other half of that formulation, Mr. Mayor, you said team of charm. Uh, you said the city's a, a charming city, too. What are some of the great charms of Kansas City? Well, the first thing is, is that we know who we are. We don't try to pretend to be somebody else. We love New York, but we're not New York. Frankly, don't want to be. We're not San Francisco. It's a great city. Love to visit there, but don't want to be San Francisco. We're the creative crossroads of this country. We're surprisingly sophisticated. We're surprisingly good about food and shopping. We have great neighborhoods. Our best assets are our people. But you don't hear us running around bragging about it all over the country. And you don't see us going around ragging on other cities and being uh, mean to them and talking about how bad they are. We simply don't do those types of things. We welcome visitors into our home just like we would hope to be welcomed into theirs. And it's just kind of a Midwestern approach to things. We try to be friendly, we try to be open, and we always try to be welcoming to people. Mayor James, what's going to happen tonight in your city if the Royals win after the game? I'm sorry, you need to rephrase the question. It should be, what's going to happen in the city when the Royals win? All right, do it, if. do it that way, man. Sorry, what's gonna Jonathan. Happen? What's going to happen? Sorry. Well, first of all, the city's going to go nuts. Um, there's, no, there's absolutely no way to say it. But I'm going to make another prediction. Everybody in this city is going to behave themselves. There will be a minimum amount of nonsense, probably from people who've had a little bit too much to drink, perhaps, but you're not going to see any violence as a result of this. At least that's what I predict. Uh, we're going to have a great time hugging each other, celebrating our city, celebrating the Royals win, and kind of puffing our chest out a little bit to say how proud we are of what's been accomplished and how proud we are to be Kansas Cityans. Mr. Mayor, we only got a couple seconds left. What's the best barbecue in Kansas City? Oh, boy. Uh, whatever. It depends on what you want to eat. If you want sandwiches, go to Bryant's. If you want uh, sausage and chicken, you might try Gates. If you want ribs, you might try Oklahoma Joe's. There's 50,000 barbecue places. All of them have something special to offer. And let me just say this. If you come and you want to have barbecue, we'll get you around to every single one that you want until you're ready to <laughs> not eat barbecue again for a year. How's Mr. that? Mr. Mayor, I'm glad you mentioned Oklahoma Joe's because that's Mark Halpern's favorite barbecue in Kansas City, too.